decided that I'd repaint the snow plow for the 8163B because this thing is pretty rusty and pitted. And uh, we're using a grinder with a wire brush cup on it. And this trips down this paint pretty good. If you've never used one of these things, they're really awesome. This one was on there for like a year. It finally wore down, but look at the difference, you know. I got this at some kind of uh, tractor show or flea market for four bucks. But anyways, that's what I like using. So we strip down this front here and we'll see what we got. going to bolt a new piece of steel across the wear strip on the bottom here so I'm not going to do too crazy on that but wow this is nice and smooth so I'm going to flip it over do the other side and we're pretty close to spraying some rusty metal primer on this thing all right so the next part of this plow series is getting the clutch to work right on 8163b so I just took it off and check out what we got our three little uh, pieces that go on the clutch and they're all frozen these are supposed to spin on these metal shafts. So we've got to take them apart and clean them up. And this bearing is shot. Listen, hear how, how bad that sounds spinning in there? It sounds horrible. So let's see if we can change that bearing out and then we should be in pretty good shape. I got bad news. I could not get any of these apart out of all three and I just totally destroyed them trying to heat them and hammer them and stuff. So I got a parts clutch back here and it's got some rollers on it. At least here's one that will spin. Um, I'll see if I can get two of these out and see if, if they will spin, but I'm probably gonna have to buy new ones here, I'm thinking, you know? We'll see. All right, so I just hammered the old bearing out here, which is really totally shot. And I got some bearings here on eBay, some Chinese bearings, of course, but they, uh, the price was right, you know? So instead of pressing them in, I'm gonna try to just hammer it in here using the old bearing as a tool. I need a flatter surface, really. Try this again. It's all, all set. Nice new bearing, score. All right, so we got that all done. Yeah. 6206RS is what it's called. So we should be good here. No noise. It's a little sluggish, but it ain't making noise. So hopefully when it gets back together, it just frees up a little bit. It just feels like it has a lot of grease in it. I got some vice grips on here holding it down so it can compress the Bellevue washer so I can get the snap ring back in. That's kind of a tough job. I usually use C-clamps, but you can't quite find where I put them. 
Hmm. We good? I'm just give it a little tap with a hammer. Oh no, I'm losing all my parts are rolling away. Make sure it's in. Yeah, we should be good, guys. Much better. Now, I got three of these used cams that I found that are freed up. This one's a little sloppy, but at least it turns. I'm gonna have to order some new ones, but for now, we're gonna put it back together with these three used ones and see what we got. <laughs> 